Good day everyone, welcome to Matthew's Scar Models. Update number two on the little KP models uh, MiG-15 UTI. And uh, basic construction is done. And uh, I really love this kit. Uh, not really. Um, it's been a bit of a challenge. The, the parts have fallen together and the, the moulding is fantastic. And... Uh, yeah, if you believe that, then I could sell wise to Eskimos. Look, it's it it's taken a little bit. There's a lot of test fitting and and, and sanding and and then trying to recover damaged panel lines. Um, I've added the a fishing sinker I have for, just to keep the uh, nose down. Uh, you could probably see that a lot of the parts are, uh, you can see where I've had a bit of filler and I've lost some of the detail which I've got to try to get back I'm not going to go rescribing too much I'm probably just going to replace some of these rivets, raised rivets with just my rivet, rosy rivet or, and uh, shoot some primer over it and uh see what it looks like um, a lot of work on the seams uh, the hole in the bottom for the stand is quite difficult to feel because it's very very thin um, you can sand through it while you're trying to fill it I'll use a combination of uh, the Vallejo putty and the good old CA super glue um, whatever you'd like to call it and um, the whole really hard part of this kit was the canopy. Uh, the canopy is too wide for the aircraft, the cockpit opening. Now, I had to sand a lot, lost a lot of sanding and feeling and sanding and feeling, and then you know trying to preserve your canopy uh, the best you can. I've just mastered up and I've sprayed over it with some what I think is pretty close to a Russian um, interior green uh, grey uh, whatever it is but it's probably not um, but it's just what I had looking at photos um, what you could probably do to solve it and if I ever build another one of these which I probably won't um, would be to shim the fuselage opening a little bit wider to allow the cockpit to fit better, better ra. That sounds better, doesn't it? Um, but then I think you might have trouble with the snozzle here at the front, um, and then getting that to fit. But it might work. I, I, it only came to me in a one of those moments. It was like hmm, I should have tried that. A uh, bit of filling involved in the nose wheel bay. It's got a really bad seam line there uh, if you leave the nose off fill it then you can get a sander in there to sand it out I will probably add some wires in there I'm not quite happy with that color um, so I'll work on that um, landing gear is very very basic these landing gear doors all come as one piece and you have to separate them cut them and, and, and I have damaged those there which I've noticed since I put a bit of blue on, this is RLM 65 I'm trying to use for the interior blue grey colour. Um, I'm going to have to sand those, uh, fill those, and sand those little chips up. The legs are very, very basic. You've got to sort of remember to bend these around without breaking them off completely so they fit in the wheel wells. Uh, I have noticed now that I've put a bit of paint on as well that I've missed a few of the seam lines. So I'll go around clean those up I'm actually going to then paint them black um, and then go over them again with that colour the 65 just to darken it off a little bit um, like I did these wheel wells in here which you'll probably see later on so that is that the wheels are done the one piece tar wheel is very delicate I broke it I had to stick it back together so looking through the interwebs I have been trying to find paint colors for it and and I'm and and I 
went to my local hobby shop to buy some paint and I I had a lot of trouble finding this greeny and the brown um, so I'm going to try some model air uh, I'm going to use the model air over to me a paint so hopefully it will bite and won't lift during the masking but the masking will be done just with blue tack worms you know masking sms uh, modeling putty or something in that regard but i've got i've got this russian air force gray for the underneath it might actually be a good color for the interior well i'll be it's probably the color i've been looking for Dang it. Yeah, well, I'm going to paint the underneath that, I think. It's a little bit too blue. It's more of a lighter colour that I've seen, like a lighter grey. Uh, then I'm going to go for the green. I was going to try this AMT4 Camouflage Green. I've got to put a couple of bowls in these so they shake up well. They're very heavily pigmentated on the bottom, so they're going to take a good shake, rattle and roll. And then I got this 6K Russian Brown for that sort of brown. I was going to go to me a NATO Brown, and then I thought, but that's just really dark. Look at that. So that's 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 not going to work either, um, because it's more like that. This wood brown colour, you know. But um, that's a gloss, and I don't want to use that. So I'm thinking, for what I've seen, it's more like a NATO brown colour. And, uh, oh, I don't know what I've done now, but um, I'll work it out. Probably not. Um, but, yeah, I'll just plod along and I'll get some primer on it and then touch up a few things. I've got a couple of other Russian aircraft I'm going to build thanks to uh, Chancer North Wales, Len, does fantastic work. He likes his Russian aircraft. Mind you, he's building a Japanese bomber at the moment. Um, yeah, I will, I will probably experiment with some paints over a bit of black and, and see what I get. Um, and I still want to go and get myself one of those silver pencils, you know, like a Prisman silver pencil. So I've got to do that. I've got to research some more colours. I'm thinking, yeah, I might go the NATO brown. I might go the NATO brown and uh, and then work out like a deep green colour for the green. So XF26 and, and uh, whatever the NATO brown is now might be the way to go yeah that's just too dark it really is but it just it's really dark so I don't know I'll have to check a few things out I think I might have see that green's gonna be see the green's good I do yeah that green's not bad it's not bad but it's just not good either but I'll work it out I could just I could just send, just send it just just put the brown on that's just like German black brown camouflage that comes in the range and yeah I'll put some put some bowls in it and give it a rattle and uh, after I spray the black which is then gonna darken my colors up I will look into it. I'm, I'm thinking more now. I've seen that, and I'm rambling on now. But uh, the other thing I've got to find out is whether the MiG U, the MiG jets, and I should ask Len this on uh, Facebook, uh, whether the MiG 15 UTI, the, the wheels and the MiGs were painted the the green that they, the military green. I've got to find that out as well. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Uh, because I didn't have a 500 draw because I had channel problems, I'm thinking, depending how quick I get to 600, is to run a 600 draw because that's just different and that's just me anyway.
be safe, model hard, a little bit of effort. You can get a good result from an old model kit. And I've reached over 10 minutes, so Jeff won't be happy. Cheers.